What's going on, MFers? It's the Michigan Football Report. I'm your host, as always, James Yoder. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for nonstop Yoder. All over Twitter. If that's what you want. That's what I'm going to give to you on Twitter. It's Michigan football news. It's jokes. And a lot of times it's interesting and uh, insightful information. Sometimes some breaking news around Michigan football at James Yoder. I've got four off-season predictions for you. And I think you guys are going to probably say a few of these are fairly obvious. But I don't know yet what we'll get out of Jim Harbaugh. But I do have some predictions on a star offensive player, or at least a one-star offensive player, a mega star defensive player. So you better wait to the end of the video because I got a mega star defensive player. And I'll have some predictions on some coaching changes, though I'm not going to have anything on for you on Jim Harbaugh because I don't think we know enough yet about whether or not he will be retained as Michigan's coach. So, number one, Joe Millen's going to transfer. It's pretty simple, right? Um, seems to be there's some attitude issues. Seems to be some, uh, I guess bad blood because he's put in bad positions. I don't know what it is. I mean, you guys watch the game. It seems to me Joe Milton has been given every opportunity to be a great quarterback in Michigan. He just hasn't performed. When Cade McNamara walks in the second half against Rutgers and basically tears it up after that, I don't know what Joe Milton can be mad about. But I don't think Joe Milton will be back part of this team. Um, I think the writing's in the wall that Cade McNamara is a better quarterback than him. Certainly, uh, J.J. McCarthy looks to be. And I think Michigan will pursue a grad transfer quarterback or just, I guess, a transfer quarterback, depending on how things go with the, uh, the one-time transfer exemption, that the NCAA will probably approve this spring. So, Joe Milton likely to transfer, I think. Now, I don't think it's going to be a Joe Burrow, Ohio State transfer in LSU situation. I don't think it's going to even be a Brandon Peters going to Illinois. I don't think it's going to be a Wilton Spate going out to UCLA. Wait, what am I saying right here? Oh, wait, oh yeah, every quarterback Jim Harbaugh has, I don't think it's going to be Dylan McCaffrey. He's not going to sit out for a year. It's kind of damning to say, right? One, two, three. He'll be Jim Harbaugh's fourth quarterback transferring out in six seasons, right? That's pretty, uh, you know, didn't have a quarterback recruit in 2020, Dan Valari, I guess, and Cade McNamara is only a redshirt sophomore. So um, pretty interesting that everybody seems to leave Jim Harbaugh. No one other than Shea Patterson has made it to the end of their career. I guess Jake Rudock that one year, but everyone else seems to transfer. They get hurt, they leave. It's a kind of a weird situation, but I think Jim, Joe Milton will transfer probably to a smaller Florida school, maybe like a, you know, a, a Sun Belt Conference team if he has a chance to start. I don't know, but I don't expect a ton from him. But if he gets the right opportunity, the right offense, maybe Joe Milton will turn around and have a nice career. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys. I really do. Uh, I try to do my best to respond to everyone who, you know, tweets at me. I get active in the comments here and there, but not as much as I probably should. So go ahead and subscribe. We just hit 11,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys. It's, uh, it's been a wild ride this season, and uh, we couldn't have done it without you. So thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. You get a notification on your iPhone, on your Android. When we have a new video, boom, you can watch it right then and there. But I'm going to ask you guys a question here. What is one word to describe Jim Harbaugh's time at Michigan? So one word. Go down in the comments. I'm going to pin this comment. Give me your one word description of Jim Harbaugh's time at Michigan. I'm going to give you one really quick right here. I'm going to go with I don't even know. I didn't think about this very well. So give me a second here and think about it for one second. I would guess it is unfulfilled, right? Unfulfilled. Um, first two seasons were great. The third season, the fourth season was great, 2018. 2019 was so close, but you guys knew as well as I did wasn't there. 2017 was just a weird, weird season. So give me one word reaction. I'll let you guys know what I think. I've said unfulfilled. Maybe I'll come up with a better one and get down there in the comments. Number two, Don Brown will be fired. Now, I think this one's fairly obvious, right? Um, I'm going to talk about a defensive player, I think, maybe moving on here in a second. But Jim Harbaugh can't come back as Michigan's coach. I don't think he should, but I think it's at least almost 50% chance that he will. I don't know if it's going to be his decision. I don't know if it's going to be more word manual. I don't know if Michigan boosters are going to get involved and, and support Jim Harbaugh or not support Jim Harbaugh. But we're all going to find out in the next few weeks, right? You can't go out of this season without having a contract extension or letting Jim Harbaugh go. But either way, Don Brown won't be back as Michigan's defensive coordinator. Why? Because if Jim Harbaugh comes back, you have no respect from anyone bringing Don Harbaugh back, Don Brown back. If he doesn't come back, then of course Don Brown's not going to be back. But if you want Don Brown fired, 
like the video. I want to see how many of you guys like this video and want Don Brown fire. I'm going to compare it to previous videos. If the likes on higher, I'm going to start questioning the intelligence of the viewing audience here on YouTube who can get started with BetUS as well. And that's going to be a great decision. So if you didn't like the video, you can make it up for yourself right now. Get going with our partner, BetUS. My favorite thing to do as an established adult these days when it comes to sports is putting money on the games. I'm not putting thousands of dollars, you know, maybe 100 here and there, maybe 20, 25 bucks uh, per game here and there. But, you know, I've usually got a thousand bucks in the line in any given weekend. But, you know, unless you lose, like, unless you go like two and eight, you're not going to lose that money no matter what. So it makes the game more fun. Give yourself a confidence boost or a confidence knockdown. And that's just, that's just living, baby. If you got uh, something on the line, BetUS is the place to do it. Chatsports.com slash go blue. Promo code go blue, 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean, James? What's a deposit bonus? Well, it means that you put your first 100 in. Get 125% bonus on top of that. 125 sitting there in your, your, your account. Put 300, $475. Did I do that math right? 475? 375, what did I do? Yeah, 375, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, 375 sitting there as a bonus. So you have 675 in your account. Chatsports.com slash go blue. Make sure to use that promo code go blue to get the deposit bonus. Number three, Josh Gass is going to be fired. All right. I think this is the single biggest mistake that Jim Harbaugh has made. Eh, not the single biggest. This is the 50% of the two biggest mistakes because there's one that's just as bad uh, that Jim Harbaugh has made from a personnel standpoint on coaching and in staff. Okay. I like Gattis, okay? I think he's probably a good guy. I think he has good intentions, but he's inexperienced, only spent one year at Alabama, wasn't really the offensive coordinator, although he had a co-offensive coordinator title or something like that. But this speed and space thing just isn't working. It is like kind of fast guys, but a lot of slow guys that are bunched up and every once in a while will hit somebody on an, on an out route or a, uh, you know, kind of a swing pass and, and they'll get going. But this doesn't look like Oklahoma's offense. This doesn't look like Ohio State's offense. It doesn't look like Clemson's offense. It doesn't look like Oklahoma State's offense. The teams that actually run the spread, that run a speed in space, that have guys flying in LSU last year. Um, this whole recruiting five foot ten wide receivers, it sounds great. But LSU didn't have that last year. Ohio State you know, sometimes has it, but they've always got a big receiver or two. You've got to have guys who are 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", that are just as athletic as those 5'10", 5'9", guys, and that's what Michigan's been missing. This looks like a Rich Rod offense in a lot of ways, and not the good Rich Rod offense that's like, you know, first half of 2010. This looks like the, the 2018 Rich Rod offense, or the Rich Rod offense that went against Ohio State or Wisconsin when they couldn't really get anything done uh, when they went up against the big boys. So I don't necessarily think that uh, J Josh Gaddis will return with or without Harbaugh. And by the way, you might be saying, well, what's that other terrible mistake that he made? It's Matt Dudak, the guy who's probably responsible for the talent level of Michigan's program. Matt Dudak, the off the recruiting coordinator, a complete disaster in the job. Three and a half years in the job, Michigan's recruiting has gone off a cliff. The only reason it came back is because someone that you all knew, the only reason this 2021 class has turned into be anything is because someone you all know lit a fire under his ass across the board, social media, reaching out to donors, all kinds of things. And maybe I had something to do with it. I don't know, I'm maybe joking around with what credit I had. But when I started you know, lighting a fire under Dudek's ass in March, Michigan had a commit in this 2021 class in 10 and a half months, 11 months at that point. And right after I did, they went gangbusters. So Dudek will be gone, I think. Josh Gash will definitely be gone, is my prediction. Last one is a big one. I think Daxon Hill, is, uh, his time has, has come and gone with Michigan. If he has to sit out a year, maybe he won't transfer. But since Daxon Hill committed to Michigan or signed his letter of intent in December of 2019, Michigan's 11-9. and nine. I think I did the math quickly in my head there, right? Uh, four losses this year, four losses last year, so eight in his career. Uh, so he's 11-8 and eight with him on the team and then lost the bowl game, you know, two weeks after he committed the bowl game to Florida. So this is not what he came, you know, signed up for as a five-star player. And his effort has been fairly mediocre and kind of looks like he's just going through the motions out there. I've heard a couple of things that he is definitely looking around. And one thing to not discount here, Daxon Hill did not come to Michigan to not have a coach for his position. The fact that Bob Shoot, Michigan safety coach, just mysteriously is not mysteriously not a part of the program anymore. And the only reason we found out is because one of the blog boys got a source and they broke it. Then Michigan finally confirmed it. Standard Michigan thing. Dave Ablaff, just the worst when it comes to these things. Um, the fact that Daxon Hill, your best player on defense, the highest rated recruit on your entire team, doesn't have a position coach. 
and Michigan won't address the situation at all, won't hire someone midseason. I don't care who the hell it is. There's plenty of good coaches out there looking for a job right now. The fact that they didn't do that and let your best defensive player just wallow around with no coaching for his position is absolutely mind-boggling. It's one of the reasons that Jim Harbaugh's program, six years in, has gone from good to really good to almost great to falling off a cliff in the last year. And it's one of the more surprising things that I can ever remember in the history of sports. Jim Harbaugh, who we all thought was going to be the savior, not making a difference. So Dax Hill, no position coach, not winning games, not what you thought we were going to be, not developing for the pros as far as I can see. I don't think he's going to be around long. I think he will transfer in this offseason. Those are my four predictions for the 2020 Michigan football offseason. Maybe some obvious ones, maybe not. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Click this bad boy right here. Subscribe to the channel. And if you missed yesterday's video Friday night, if you missed one of our videos earlier in the week, I've got those for you. It is game day, but there's no Michigan football game. So make sure you subscribe and go blue.